As I mentioned earlier in the week, I plan to add a few different colors into my wardrobe with a great deal of intention and thought. So very carefully planning which colors I'm going to add to my wardrobe. And so I wanted to use some Everlane pieces for today's Everlane collab to kind of meet that need. A lot of these pieces really do match exactly the colors that I'm looking for. So I wanted to review those with you today. Also with every sponsored post, I like to give back in some way. And so I'm giving to Feeding America today. Also, I think it's so cool because Everlane decided to use their 100% human collection to be able to give their profits from that right now toward Feeding America. So it's just really good organization and I'll leave a link down below if you want to know more about Feeding America. So a couple of the pieces that I'm showing today are ones that I purchased and the rest were gifted as part of this collab. So I'll leave links down to everything down below and then I'll note which pieces were gifted as well. For starters, I had to start with this mock neck. This is a grade A cashmere, which I do not recommend hanging by the way, I'm just doing it for today's purposes. But I love this rose color. I felt like this color was something that I have worn in the past. I love the way that you can take something like this and also bring it out again in the fall and wear it with something more in the brown tones. Um, that would pair really well. I do like this so much because of the fit. I felt like it was a really uh, unique combination of having something that's like contouring, but then it's not too tight either. So the fit is really great. I love that there's ribbed details along the mock neck and then also on the sleeves. And that's sort of brought up, you know, further than you normally would. And so that's gonna look really beautifully um, as a cuff and then something that I can also, you know, pull up a little bit and that's gonna work wonderfully. So this was something that was just a showstopper for me. I think this color is so beautiful and I will honestly cherish this sweater for a very long time. Okay, this is a sweatshirt. It's not actually a sweater. Um, there's a few small details about this that classify it that way. One is this V-stitch in the front, and then also the fit of this one is much more relaxed than this pink sweater before. Uh, one thing too that I love about it is the color, but right now this one, this color is not for sale anymore, but they are still selling options in a couple of other colors as a choose what you pay, which means that it's like a lot cheaper than this one originally was. So one thing that I love about it is again, it's that grade A cashmere. I would say that this one feels a little bit thicker than this one, this pink one. And that also could be a reason because we're moving into springtime. I love watching how a brand will take a piece of clothing like this and then they'll transform it a little bit over time to meet the season. And so next I tried these editor slingbacks. I think that there's a few details that I wanna bring out. One is that they are so similar to the 40 hour flat except for a couple of details, one being this heel, and then of course having this elastic band. Uh, for sizing, their website says for wider feet to go a half size up, but just as a comparison, I have very narrow feet, and so for me, I tried my normal size, and I also tried a half size down, and the half size down fit a little bit more snug and more comfortably for my feet to make sure whenever I have an elastic band like this, that potentially will stretch out with time. Um, I just like to go for the smaller size. So really use your judgment and also probably check the reviews at the bottom for sizing. That's always where I go to like find just the right size. And so yeah, I'm happy with the five and a half instead of my normal six. Next, I absolutely love the micro rib shirts. This is something that when they first released this, I got it in black, white, and gray because once I had one, I had to get the other colors. And now for this season, I'm going with this tulip color, which really meets the color that I'm trying to, to add to my wardrobe being that it's more of this like coral color. And I really do think that there are so many flattering aspects about this shirt. And why I'm addicted to it is because it has this beautiful scoop neckline. So that just felt like it was really form flattering for me. I like having something that's scooped there. I also like having the sleeves longer. Anytime that I can find a shirt that's a short sleeve, that actually has a longer sleeve, I love it. I feel like I, I think it's just something where I would like to look a little bit more trim right there. And so having a longer sleeve just makes me feel very confident. And then something about how with all of their micro rib shirts, they have this stitching that goes down the spine. 
I just think that that's another really flattering aspect. I love all of the stitching detail. It's very just beautiful. And then having this color is going to work so well as I move into summertime and get more of a tan. Like it's just gonna be amazing. Next is the clean silk short sleeve knot shirt. This is not a stranger to my wardrobe. I've had it in other colors and so I knew that this was a shirt I wanted to try again in a different color. Anytime actually with my wardrobe that I find the perfect fit, I want to keep that. That is something that I want in more volume instead of trying to have lots of different variety of things that I kind of like. So once I find something I love, that's what I just really dive deep into. So why I like this shirt, it's a really boxy fit, but it drapes just so beautifully because of that silk material. And then also this is a very cool material, so it's gonna work really well for um, pretty much, I would say, you know, warmer weather, but also I just really appreciate having silk even underneath layering pieces as it might be a little bit chilly or it might be, you know, you don't wanna sweat too badly <laughs> underneath a lot of layers. So I find that I wear silk even on chilly days. Uh, so it's a really great material and something that I take very good care of in my closet. This washes well with delicate soap and a delicate cycle. And then also the color is something that I wanted to reintroduce to my wardrobe. Light blue is something that hasn't been a stranger, but I really did want to dive deep on the light blue as well. Next is this Italian merino rib polo. <laughs> That's so hard to say. Um, I do love the fit of this one. This is something that I don't have a lot of, which is polos. Um, so having this one, I did want to try it. And I would say that for me, once I unbuttoned a few of the buttons in the front, it immediately felt a little bit more on the grown-up side than when I wore polos growing up. So this is a shirt that does have a great bit of stretch to it, so you might wanna use that as a guide. If you want something that's really form-fitting, you could go a little bit smaller. Uh, so this one is extra small on me, and that is usually a size up. I could go anywhere between an extra small and an extra extra small in Everlane. So having something that's a little bit looser has more of this like, not so stringent vibe to it, but like a little bit more relaxed, a little bit more weather appropriate as we move into warmer weather. And then also it's got those long sleeves again, which is amazing. And it's got that micro rib sort of material. Actually, technically this isn't a micro rib. It's something that's just a little bit wider woven together. Okay, next I went with the Air Oversized Crew and this is in this beautiful red color. So this is a shirt again I've tried in the past and I knew I loved it, long sleeves again. Also having it oversized is gonna have this really sort of relaxed fit to it that I love. And then I just wanna tuck this into whatever pants I feel like wearing. And then of course too, with this red color, it is going to match most things. I could wear it with white pants, I could wear it with like dark navy pants or jeans, um, I could wear it with black, like it, this will go with any sort of pant or you know skirt in my closet so this will be something that I wear a lot having the air material is super light but I wouldn't say that this color is sheer at all so that is a really good benefit I mean if I hold it up to the light I can probably see a little bit of light coming through but the material itself the color itself rather is something that's not going to allow a lot of light to come through. And then also I just wanna point out that um, you might not be able to see it on camera, but the color itself is just a little bit on the pink side. So when you're talking about reds, it could go in all different directions. It could be like an orangey red or anything like that. Okay, this probably just has a hint of orange as well. <laughs> it's really hard to describe, um, but I would say as a general rule, it is a red that has just a a hint more of on the pink tones. Next is the Cotton Crew. This is one item that I purchased that I wanted to have a shirt that was going to look good for summertime, of course, and then having this cashew and white striped color to it is something that will be so wonderful moving from springtime and then into summertime. That's really my goal with every piece is that it could be something that I could wear for at least one more season. So having something like this will be very easy to style. This is a very classic shaped shirt, right? So the sleeves are a little bit on the shorter side if that's more your jam versus the longer sleeves. And then also I would say that the collar here is much tighter as a crew than some of the other ones were much more relaxed. Like you can see with the air, it has 
such a wider neckline than something like this with the crew. This new arrival is the clean silk puff sleeve top. I think that it's interesting for a lot of reasons. One, it has a lot of the same qualities as this one did before. Um, obviously the clean cut of it is just so beautiful, but then they added the puff sleeve to the sides, which is very, like it's a small detail. It's not a huge puff sleeve if that's not what you're into, but I love a good puffed sleeve. I could wear them as big as they come. <laughs> and that's really a choice for my body style because I have more of a pear shape. So if I add a little bit of bulk here, it is a good thing. I like it, I feel confident in it. And then they carry this through. It's not just a short puff sleeve, but this is a really flattering like drapey one that goes a lot longer like is my preference again so those were my reasons that I loved it I also went with the washed navy color which is I would say that it's a really it's really light as far as navies are concerned um, but it does have just a beautiful tone to it I would say that this just looks like a cloudy day on the sea <laughs> And then finally is this Stroop Waffle Crew. This is in Re Cashmere and it's in Heathered Ink. So last fall I tried the Heathered Sand and it was one of my favorite sweaters from last fall. And I just wanted to get this one as well. Um, this is going to be another addition to my wardrobe. I started introducing navy into my wardrobe last summer and so now adding some you know pieces that work well for fall and also springtime and winter is just going to be so wonderful as long as i am not sweating i will be having this in my closet uh, so it's going to be a really great addition for springtime because i could wear it with virtually anything i could dress it down with sweatpants i could you know wear it um, with beautiful like white pants like there's just so many options that i'll be able to wear this with and I would say too, if you look really closely because it is a heathered pattern um, in the fabric, it's going to have little details that are you know, washed or toned down. And it looks like they're doing that with more of this charcoal color. So it's like combining a navy with a charcoal and it just creates a really beautiful vintage color. And then of course having this droop waffle texture is so beautiful and unique. And it's really what makes something like this really stand out. So as we're moving into warmer weather, you might still find some chilly days where you need a jacket and having something with some texture just works very well. So this will be something I have hanging up, well not hanging up, folded, not hanging, <laughs> in my closet for quite some time. And those were my selects for this season. So thank you Everlane for sponsoring this video and letting me choose which pieces that I'd like to try. Um, I'm really happy with each one of these selects. I think that they're going to make a big dent in my closet for trying to transition to some of my new colors. And thanks you guys for watching. So don't forget to subscribe. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. So casually keep diving into concrete So this